Now the tactics for biological control of fire blight are a little bit different than those in which we use chemical control at the bloom stage. The goal of biological control is with, with antagonistic organisms is to colonize the stigma surface of the flower before the fire blight pathogen gets there. The, the re main reasoning of this is that the fire blight pathogen is the best organism uh, in terms of growth, growth rate on the stigma. And so there's no organism that's been found that really can compete with that growth rate. And so if we're going to inhibit uh, the growth of that organism, we really need our biological control organisms to arrive at the flower first. And so we need to initiate sprays of these organisms much, much sooner than we, did, than, than we would with our conventional fire blight chemistries. We usually will start at about 10% bloom with our first application of biological control materials. The two materials that we have available to us are a bacterium, uh, which is registered as bloom time biological. This is a bacterium called Pantoia agglomerans, and it's a common uh, orchard epiphyte. It's, it actually is a natural non-pathogenic organism that grows on apple leaves, on apple bloom. And then there's a, a new uh, yeast-like organism, or a yeast organism, uh, which is called Blossom Protect. And this was developed in Europe. Uh, it's an organism called Oreobacidium. And it's a yeast that has similar uh, action in terms of what uh, the strategy or what the goal of that control is in terms of it will colonize the, the blossom, colonize the stigma before the fire blade pathogen gets there. Uh, and so we will initiate sprays at about 10% bloom. We keep that up on a regular basis. We go maybe 40% bloom, 70% bloom, and then a full bloom. And so you can see that uh, really at least four applications are required to achieve colonization of bloom uh, and, and to keep that colonization going and ahead of the fire blade pathogen. One of the problems that we have with a biological control utilization in the Midwestern and Eastern United States is just that these are biological organisms and so they, they've been quite variable uh, in terms of their fire blight control efficacy in research tests that we've conducted over the last several years. And uh, it's just, these organisms are variable. They, their ability to colonize flowers will change uh, according to the prevailing weather conditions year to year. And so we can't always expect perfect colonization of flowers. We can't always expect optimal control. And, and in fact, that's what we've seen in our tests. And so uh, I think that we still have a lot of research to do uh, and the reality is these biologicals are not standalone materials. They're going to have to be effectively integrated into programs with many other, uh, many other aspects of, of fire blight control integrated into the same program if we're going to be successful ultimately in controlling this disease.